In this demo, I will show you how to create and configure sites and subnets. Uh, for example, let's take the company that you work for is opening up one or more branch office and you as an administrator need to put in the place the network. You install one or more domain controller, file server etc. But what about the replication traffic? So before we deploy additional domain controllers, it's better to create a site and subnet first and then to deploy the additional domain controller. Sites in Active Directory Domain Service represent the physical structure or topology of your network. Active Directory Domain Service use network topology information but is stored inside the Active Directory site and subnet site link object to build the most efficient replication topology. So it's better to create a, uh, sites and subnets initially and then go ahead for a EDC deployment. So let's look at our scenario. This is my scenario. We have a main office that is our first site. And in that I already put a domain controller that is srtfndc onemyroblocal and we have IP 192.168.49.10 or they set a gateway 192.168.49.1. So in short, we can say we have a domain mylab.local and we have a network 192.168.49.0 subnet. We want to go deploy a additional domain controllers in a branch of S1 and there we have a network 192.168.50.0. I have a routable environment so both network can communicate with each other but before deploying uh, additional domain controller on uh, this server I want to make sure that initially first I want to create uh, the sites and subnet and then I will go for the additional domain, domain controller deployment so let's do that so come back on a server this is our server I'm going to open uh, active directory site and services console here we go. There's the sites. I'm going to rename the default first site because by default, whenever you deploy ADC or domain controller, that domain controller will be placed under the default first site name. That is the our default uh, site, active directory site. So I'm going to rename it and specify the name main office. Okay, ten. Now when you specify create a site then it's better to create a subnet at the same time. So I'm going to create a new subnet and for our main office we have a 192.168.49.0 uh, 49 slash 24 network and that's select main office. So we have a specify this is the site where we put a domain controller and that is the subnet and that is the uh, network block that is assigned with main office same i want to create a new site so select right click on a site and select new site specify the name as you want to assign now for my case i'm going to specify branch office one and select default ip site link the default ip site link is a transfer that the site will use to communicate and this one is based on uh, ip actually it is using rpc over tcp ip you can also configure it through SMTP, but personally, never use it this way. So select default IP site link. Click on OK. So saying add a subnet for branch office. Click on OK. So now let's specify the subnet for branch office one. So right click on a subnet, specify a new subnet, and that will be a 192.168.50.0. So that's 24 and this time I'm going to select the branch office one. Click on OK and now we have a the branch office and that is also associated with the uh, subnet 192.168.50.0. So now we have uh, two sites uh, associated subnets and then you can proceed to install the additional domain controller inside the your branch office. So in the next video we'll see how to install additional domain controller using IFM media so in that video we'll create a first IFM media on a main office server and then we'll copy to branch office server and then we'll install a, uh, additional domain controller on a branch office server by using IFM media so thanks for watching this video